up guys today's video is going to be pretty interesting because we have another rc boat and this one is the pro boat horizon harbor tugboat um i'm going to explain why this is here this is here not just because it's a scale looking uh, tugboat which absolutely looks beautiful um it's here because this is actually a recovery boat and i've been looking around at multiple recovery boats because you do want to protect your investment when you're getting into RC boats or if you have already plenty of RC boats. This is said to be one of the best retrieval boats. And again, I've been looking around everywhere. Most of the RC retrieval boats that I've found are pretty small and they don't really have a proper uh, connection at the end to kind of hook onto the boat and bring it back. And uh, so ProBoat did something really interesting where they made a really cool retrieval boat and i love the fact that on the box itself um they show you that this is not just a scale uh boat but it's also meant to bring back uh, and recover boats so i love that about this thing and if you want to recover boats you might as well do it with style there she is out of the box and one thing you will notice immediately is that Pictures and videos online don't do this thing justice at all. The level of detail and realism on this thing is really stunning. Um, I drive around lots of tugboats on my jet ski and I can tell you that this looks exactly like a shrunken down version of those. I mean, the little details, for example, like the rubber tires on the side, the thick rubber padding on the front and the thick rubber padding on the rear, along with the optional feature that they gave you which is super awesome where you can put a pump and activate the fire hoses and it can shoot water from the top like a real tugboat and you're not limited to one direction you can actually rotate these to shoot water wherever you want and it's just lovely with the led lights uh, a lot of stuff to kind of notice on this thing immediately and for example the hook and one more thing i would say is that online i thought the propeller was like a bronzish color but it looks absolutely beautiful it looks kind of golden i don't know if you can see it but retrieval arms that come with it i mean it's just really nice again the whole thing is just a much bigger scale than you expect i mean i knew it was 30 inches but you don't understand how big the actual boat is until it's with you and initially i thought that this is a bit of a pricey RC boat to be an RC retrieval boat. But now that I think about it uh, realistically, if you have a boat, especially over 40 inches, etc., you need something big, you need something powerful to kind of go against the current and make sure you get your investment back. And that's why I'm glad kind of that I uh, ended up with this thing because I was researching retrieval boats and there are a lot more affordable retrieval boats than this. And they just didn't look the part in my opinion and they look too small for example i have a few big boats and they look too small to do two things to fight current and to push a heavy boat back so i didn't want to take a risk uh, on those things and i've heard great reviews from people who actually own these uh, and that's why i decided to go with it another thing i love is the boat stand i love when boat stands are kind of like a wood material rather than just a flimsy plastic material so this is nice all right guys so i'm gonna be installing this water pump onto the pro boat tugboat and i'm gonna see how this will turn out i looked already in the manual and it said it should have supplied screws which it didn't come with luckily i have a lot of rc stuff here so i've managed to find uh, some screws in the same diameter that's required so i'm gonna put this on there you can see the wire for the pump. You can even see where you're supposed to mount it and the hose where it sucks up water. Uh, it's got a screw on top of it and connects to this hose here with this Y joint. And this goes to the fire hoses on top. Okay, so that's in there pretty good. The only thing that I already knew, to be honest, before going through this process is that they don't provide uh, a hose to connect to the upper Y connector right here uh, for the water cannons. And uh, you can easily just get Nitro RC fuel lines. I mean, I have a lot of Nitro RC cars, so I have a lot of these fuel lines. However, fuel lines on Nitro RC car come in many different sizes and 
cube diameters so just in case it doesn't really matter anyone will work even if it's a bit bigger or a bit smaller it doesn't really matter the worst time for the boat to touch You see why I got this? Alright guys, so that's it for the Pro Boat Tugboat. Um, I absolutely love this thing. I mean, from the way it looks on the water to the way it drives, it handles absolutely beautifully. And that's really what you want from a recovery boat. And it handles great even with the retrieval arms installed in the front. I just wanted to show you that um, I added a little bit of detail with the people uh, on board as well as some actual real rope and some actual real chain with hook just for extra realism so yeah it's uh just trying to take that off yep there we go so just little stuff like that another thing that i've added uh, is this magnet here and i'll show you what purpose that serves because when you want to keep the retrieval boat on standby especially in water that has current or something or in my case sometimes i'm at the end of a dock and that dock is pretty high up so I can't really physically get the boat I have to drive it to the end of the dock from the shore um, I have this thing here which kind of extends rope automatically and so when you're at the top of the dock you just set the magnet there put the length you want and then you kind of lock it in and that prevents the boat from kind of going with the current so to speak uh, and keeps it on standby but on standby in the water so if anything happens to your RC boat that you're using on the water you immediately can just disconnect the magnet go get it and then bring it back and then put the tugboat back onto the magnet and it locks into place it is pretty strong so you really do need to pull it aggressively to get it off the magnet so even with a significant current in the water this boat will not be going anywhere so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and that's it for the Pro Boat Tugboat. I definitely would recommend this thing as a recovery boat, 100%. See you guys next time. Cheers. Yeah.